everyone, welcome to this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Katja. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my favorite IKEA furniture in my home. Although you probably already know that from the title of this video. They have a lot of stuff at IKEA, as everyone probably knows, and it can be kind of overwhelming to take a look at all of it in one go, I think. So what I like to do is find inspiration from other people who have maybe picked out five or 10 different products from Ikea. I think it makes it a lot easier to find the good stuff instead of just getting lost in maybe a lot of products that you don't really want and that you don't really like. I generally like to mix Ikea stuff with furniture from more exclusive brands and also just from different brands. It doesn't have to be exclusive at all. And I really like to do that because I think Ikea has a lot of really great solutions, especially when it comes to cabinets and wardrobes. And another reason is that sometimes I think that if too many of your things in your home are from the same place, it kind of waters down your style a bit and makes it less interesting. In my opinion, mixing different designs from different brands in your home, in your interior decoration, makes your home look much more interesting and much more unique. And I'm a big fan of that. So, however, furniture definitely don't have to be exclusive, unique, or expensive at all for me to want to include it in my home. <laughs> I personally love IKEA for many reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is that you can easily find furniture with an anonymous and minimal look, which is perfect for minimal and Scandinavian style homes and also for hacking because it's so easy to customize it however you want. IKEA is also super affordable, especially stuff like drawers, cabinets, wardrobes and mirrors and so on, because those things are typically a little more expensive everywhere else. So. That's really great. And the last reason is that I think you get a lot of value for money, which is obviously a huge plus. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, I think we should just get started. So the first piece that I wanna show you is my big mirror in my bedroom. I really love this mirror, especially because it's so big that I can see my entire body in it when standing in front of it. And the design is super minimal and it's definitely a mirror that would look great in pretty much anyone's home. I know it's available with a black and a white frame and for a short period of time, it was also available in this oak veneer, which is the one I have. Unfortunately, I can't find this version online anymore, which is really a shame because it looks so pretty and warm in this version but the black and white framed mirror is still a really good alternative, I think. It can also be hung both vertically and horizontally, and it's very affordable, especially considering the size of it. So the next thing that I wanna show you is this cushion cover right here. I use them to style my bed and my couch, and I got them in different sizes. And I really love these cushion covers. They are made of this polyester fabric that has a texture that is kind of similar to velvet, which I really like. But what I like most about these covers is the color. I've been looking for cushion covers with this exact color for a while because a lot of beige colors, unfortunately, have a slight purple or pinkish hue, which I think is a shame because I really like this clean beige color and this particular one doesn't have that at all it's just a clean beige exactly as i like it it's also available in more sizes and colors and as i said i mostly style my bed or my couch with these because the color match is really good and on another note if you like my bedding ikea also has some bedding in a similar color okay the next one is probably my favorite piece of Ikea furniture in my home. And I've been looking forward to showing you this up close. And maybe you already guessed it, but it is of course the Billy Bookcase. If you've seen my Billy Bookcase Ikea hack video where I show a Billy hack that we did in our previous home, you'll know how much I love Billy. We used to have this huge bookcase made of Billy and Noxholt from Ikea in that house and naturally I had a lot of books and vases that I needed to put somewhere else once we moved. So I decided to get three Billy bookcases for the apartment that we're living in right now. It's perfect for showcasing my coffee table books and vases and 
also for keeping some stuff out of reach of my children. I thought it was a nice touch to stick with the oak veneer, just like the mirror in the bedroom, instead of opting for the standard white color that I would otherwise have chosen. Even though it's not made of massive oak wood, but rather oak veneer, it still looks good up close. Sometimes oak veneer looks a little too cheap, but not this one. I actually really like this one. It looks so good. And it's also really easy to customize Billy to match your preferences. For example, if the oak veneer had been unavailable, I would just have gotten the standard white one and then I would probably have painted them another neutral color to match my interior better. And this next one is a lamp that I really like. I think this ceiling lamp is a great fit for bedrooms and children's rooms because it has this playful and soft design. And I really like the overall design, but I'm not a fan of the fabric used for the shade because when it's turned on, the light bulb is just too clear and that would look a whole lot better if a thicker fabric was used for the shade. And for that reason, I think this lamp is perfect for a hack where you can change the shade. I think I'll do this hack at some point if I find the right type of thick but stretchy fabric but until then, I'll enjoy the design as long as it's turned off. And while we're here in the children's room, I really want to show you this amazing bed. I love it for so many reasons. It can be built in different ways depending on your child's wishes. It's perfect as a tall bed for toddlers because it's not too tall and there's extra room to play underneath it if you assemble it like this. And because of that, it's also really great for small children's rooms to save some space. It's also really affordable compared to other tall beds, I think. And my kids really love this. They think it's a ton of fun. And I'm also planning on doing a little hack with this bed. If you know of this bed already, you can see that I've painted it another color and I'm working on finishing it as fast as possible. And yes, there'll be a video on that very soon. So keep an eye out for that if that sounds interesting to you. So that was it for this time. I hope that you found this video helpful and somewhat useful. And yeah, I really like to hear and see other people's recommendations. And if you have any recommendations at all, anything that you would recommend from Ikea, anything that you just like really, really love, please write it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram for more content. And I'll have a new video for you very soon.